going on, guys? I'm Val with Quick Country 96.5 NZ Rock 107.7. We have a special guest here. This is Monira. Some of you might have seen her locally already. Monira, you're a part of Donate 60. Okay, so tell people what Donate 60 is, if so, they don't know. Donate 60 is a campaign to get as many as high school graduation speakers to talk about um, voting for three causes, gun violence, racial equity, and climate change. Mm. Okay, those are like huge topics that are on everybody's mind right now and you guys really I mean I don't know how old you are but I'm guessing you're almost 18 you're getting ready yeah, to do this I'm ready to vote yeah. you're ready you're getting ready to vote so you want that to be on the forefront of you and you know your classmates minds for you and for your classmates what's the priority what's talked about most or are they all equally important I feel like since it's our location and where we stand our biggest concern at the moment is Islamophobia as we see a lot of rhetoric going around our nation about how Muslims should be banned from this country, it's quite often the one of our biggest concerns. But also as a young person, um, I feel like I feel this terror every single time I go to school or being in a public place at times because I think about how easy it would be for someone to walk in and kill me and my loved ones. I think about how easy it is these days for anything to happen to me, and I wouldn't know until it would be too late. And my biggest worry isn't for my own life, but it's for my younger siblings' lives. I don't want to live in a world where I'm constantly hoping and praying that whenever I hear something bad has happened, that it's not from in my own hometown or my own high school, or it's happened to the people I love. And when I think about that, I feel immediately guilty because no one should be dying like this. This shouldn't be happening to anyone, any teenager, any child, any parent. Nobody should be feeling that emotion. No, I... So have you kind of been a guide for your younger siblings as to what to... It's sad, you know, I, I don't know if you spend time telling them what to look out for, what to be aware of, how to carry themselves uh, in, in a world where it's crazy like that. I mean, what do you tell them as far as being safer? So I have a younger cousin, actually, who's um, four years old. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Recently, they told me about how they were in school and they there was an alarm that went off and they like had to hide and put their hands on their head. And I didn't understand what they were talking about for a few minutes. And then it hit me that they were practicing a lockdown at the preschool. And that that was so terrifying that he is four years old and and he is learning about all of these things, things that I should not be learning about, things that nobody should, needs to learn. And... This is what they will. This will save their lives. This is what it's going to help them, and that scares me so much. I I'm not ready to live in a world like this, but I have to. I feel like I have to grow up so much faster to make sure that I can see my cousins and my siblings and everyone who I love grow up in a world where they'll be safe and happy. Yeah, and Donate Sixty is part of doing that, obviously, because it's not just you that's a part of this. This is a group of you saying enough is enough <laughs> and we want to get out and we want to spread the word and get people voting so that they can make these changes so that you know your younger relatives don't have to worry about the same things that you or I did yeah that's right. so I feel like the best part of donate 60 is the fact that it focuses on voting um, so many people especially many young people they feel very jaded because they feel like their vote and their voice is not important or it's not enough but I want everyone to remember that we put these legislators in office, legislators that support gun control and those that don't. So if we vote them into office, we can vote them out, and we can vote people who support our interests and support what we want to see in our future. And it's so important because small steps make massive change. Okay. You don't Movements start um, with one person's voice, one person's actions, and so many other people are inspired by that, and they take step forwards, and they make massive change. And I am so inspired because I look around me and I am so blessed to have tens and dozens of other really powerful youth who know what they want and know how to get there. And Donate 60 is just one of those many paths, one of those many routes to empowering the youth to speak up and what they believe in. Wow. Yeah, and I mean the positive in all this is that you guys and anybody really, we've got the ability to spread that message way further than we ever have with social media, with Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Are you guys involved in that? Is there uh, hashtags or things we should be looking for to get more information? Um, yeah, for Donate60, there's a hashtag, hashtag Donate60. There's also their Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the social media accounts you can follow. They're all over. Yeah. <laughs> but also, I feel like other hashtags you should be looking out for is Enough is Enough, Never Again, Say Their Names. Um, 
So hashtag say their names is my favorite one because it focuses on the victims and not the shooters, not the people who perpetuated this crime. And I feel like that is very important because these lives are the lives that were lost because we did not do anything to pick it up. These lives are the lives we should have constantly been thinking about. Because um, I saw this on the internet a while ago and they said you can name almost all of the school shooters or anybody who did these really massive, terrible things, but nobody knows the names of the victims. Wow. Right, and voting is your way of taking that power back. Yeah, voting is my way of empowering myself and the people in my community. Voting is my way of ensuring that I can see a future that is better, not just for me, but the people around me, the people I love, and the people that will come after me. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for your time. No, all right. You got it. Thank you so much. All right.